Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi! Oh, we're recording? Yeah! Oh. There was actually, um... Shit, what was it? Elliot is in control. <laughs> Cutscene! This, this is one of the... I, I say this a lot when I play this game, but this is one of the funniest parts. He farts parts. fire! I love these... These guys are two of the funniest parts of the characters in the game. They bad boys. Ooh, smoke rings. They bad boys. Two-dimensional Snoke. Snoke. Huh. <laughs> Flaming diarrhea poops. I'm just imagining you as those amps right there. <laughs> um, shit, what was it? What do we do? Fuck, what was it? It's so awkward. I don't know what I'm going to say. Oh, okay, now I remember. Okay, so this will be our final recording episode of the day. Uh,. All right, so Changes in control. Are you ready for this, Elliot? Yeah, dog. Did you know that my mother was once hit on by Bill Murray? Wow. She was hit on by Bill Murray. Cool. What happened was... Okay, this part's really freaking annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't like this part. She was in... Um, I swear to God I'm telling the truth, by the way. I was not there to witness it, but my mom... Unless my mom is just lying, which I highly doubt she is. She's very honest to me. Um, yep, she was at this place in, I think it's called Buchan, California? It was, it was somewhere in California. She was at a restaurant, and, uh, so she was married at the time, and she still is married today, but, uh, yeah. All I remember the story is, like, in comes frickin' Bill Murray. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Good timing. And, yeah, Bill Murray came in and was like, Hey, you wanna come back to my place? Sounds, I don't remember the exact details, but she was like, Oh, no, no thanks. But she was obviously getting hit on by Bill Murray as a freaking honor, so... I am pleased to know that Bill Murray thinks my mother is hot. I am proud of that knowledge. Nice. I've never told you that before, have no. I? No. Yeah, I, sw I swear to God, cross my heart, hope to die that it's true as far as I know. I don't believe you. I'm sure some people in the audience are like, whatever, you're just saying that to make shit up. Swear to God, it's true. I don't believe you. Pretty nuts, huh? Bro, if it were true. It is true. I don't believe it. Don't give me that look, young man. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Crazy. Testicles. Yes, pee on the balls, pee on the balls, pee on the balls. Pee. Testicles without a ball sack. <laughs> Bourgeois. Is bourgeois. Bourgeois. Oh, whoops. Oh, bad timing. Bougie, baby. <laughs> poopy. More poop. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of poopy in this game. There is. This part of the boss isn't very hard. Yeah, th this boss in general is really not that hard. No. It's very easy. It's funny, this game This game has a lot of parts that are really freaking hard, but, um... Ah, oh, whoops, I screwed that up. But, oddly enough, the bosses in general are fairly easy. Like, there's some parts, like, you'll see me at the end during the frickin' war chapter where I will rip my hair out. Mm -hmm. But then there's bosses like this that are, like, really easy. It's like, hmm, okay. Is this difficulty balanced or not? Ooh, smack in the bone. Ooh. <laughs> Ouchie, wah wah. <laughs> That would suck. Yeah, dude. Have you ever been hitting the nuts really hard? Yeah, okay, one time. That same time, that Red Robin shit. Wait, no, 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 no. Same guy's birthday, uh -huh. but later in life. So we, he was probably turning 16. But same dude. Um, We were waiting. Yeah, yeah, we went to some other place by that Red Robin. Mm -hmm. But, uh, fuck, man. Yeah, we were all hanging out outside, and I've never been very good at, like, uh, catching and things like that. I think I mentioned that before. Like, catching? Catching, like, sport, sports balls and shit. Oh, okay. Like, uh, or just playing sports in general, other than, like, hockey. I was good with Sports it. balls, like, uh, you know, football. The, you know the ones, like, uh... I just meant I in general. <laughs> baseball, uh, football. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. basketball sometimes, uh, if someone gives me a pass. You know, just shit, I can't catch very well. Yeah. So, um, 
I was just standing off to the side, and this dude and his, his other buddy were playing catch with a football. And then he's like, hey, so-and-so, go long. And so he went super long and hail married. And I was looking at my phone, and I looked up just too late. And I took a step back because the ball, uh, the football was coming towards me, and I knew I probably couldn't catch it. So I just took a step back. It landed in the ground in front of me and just bounced perfectly right off the ground after I <gasps> hail Mary straight into my nards. And I was like, <gasps> and I just had to like go in my car and make sure my balls were still there. Oh my god. It was awful. Oh, you poor man. That's yeah, awful. That's pretty bad. What about you? What's the worst you ever <laughs> That is definitely still to the day that's, the worst I've ever been reamed. That's just that, that was fucking off. That's just funny for me. Like it, it's awful, but oh, no, it's, it's also funny hilarious. because like you step back to avoid it, but it still hits you because it hits the ground yeah. instead. <laughs> it's like a freaking Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah. Like <laughs> or Tom and Wiley Jerry. Coyote. That's beautiful. Uh oh. Oh my. He dead. He dead, son. <laughs> How about you? What's the worst you've ever been reamed? Um, let's see. Hmm. Uh, I, I guess the the first one that comes to mind uh -huh. in high school, I uh, I think I may have already told this on Goobs, but uh, I uh, I one time was getting ready for something. Mm -hmm. I put on my pants. It's like, all right, time to put on the belt. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I think you did tell me about this. Self destruct in one second. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> and they lived to see, to live another day. Anyways, Yay. yeah. So um, what I did was I. Uh, I was too lazy to just take the belt and just put it, feed it through the loops on my going? pants. This way. I know where I'm going. I was too lazy to just feed it through the loops slowly. I was impatient for some reason, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I, I just took the end of it. Break up, man. And I, I just pulled on one of the ends really hard, hoping it would go through. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the buckle part whiplash and hit me right in the nuts. And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> ah. And it, so I was on the ground. And I was like, oh, geez. Yeah. And in comes Cody, my dog. And he's like wagging his tail all happy, like, hi, James, what's up? <laughs> I'm like, fuck off, Cody. Ah. He just goes up to me and is just licking me and smiling, like, hey, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> it, 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 on its own, it's funny, but it's it's especially funny because of Cody. <laughs> There's this one time, totally unrelated to this, mm -hmm. uh, but I remember. <laughs> so there's this chain. There's this grocery store chain mm -hmm. near my friend's house. And there's like this long wooded trail near my friend's house. Yeah. And we could take that to get to the grocery store. And we would like we'd hang out in middle school. And we'd go to the grocery store and get some candy or like whatever. Is this the same friend who did the dance boy? Yep, exactly. Okay, let's hear more uh, about the legend. I don't remember what I called him before. Nino, Nino or something? Nino. Yeah, okay, so Nino and I, uh, we were walking one day. And we got dibs, you know, the uh, ice cream. Dippin' Dots? No, not Dippin' Dots, dibs. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate, little yeah, yeah, yeah. things with ice cream in them. We ate the box. And, like, this trail near his house was really popular like people went on it all the time but there were like you know there were houses kind of nearby but it was like their backyards and they all had fences so no one could really see you right okay it was this forest trail mm -hmm. by a lake and um and so i was like man i kind of have to pee he's like yeah uh all right whatever and i was like well, i'm just gonna go pee in these bushes I was like, okay and i was like hey Give me the Dippin' Dots container. And I, so I took the Dippin' Dots container and I peed in it uh, on the side of the trail. And then I was like, hey, what if we uh, set this up in the middle of the walkway here and just hide out in the bushes? <laughs> and he's like, okay, let me pee in it too. And so he pees in it as well. And we've got like this dibs container. And we put the lid back on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we set it back up in the middle of the trail. Okay. It just looks like dibs. Someone like left the dibs there in the middle of this fucking forest trail. Uh, we wait there for about like all. 15 minutes until we hear some people coming by. Yeah. It's like some kids younger than us. Like, we were probably close to high school at this age, maybe like. Fuck these bitches! Eighth or ninth grade. And these kids were maybe in like fifth or sixth grade or something like that. Uh huh. They just have really high pitched voices and they Of were course, yeah. Two guys. And we were just hiding out in the bushes with that there. Uh, a little way from it, and we're like, okay, this is, this is gonna be great. Uh, let's, let's see if they even notice it. And the best possible thing happened for us. Okay. Like, we thought they'd just like see it, look at it, maybe lift it up, and be like, here, it's full of bees. 
right? Something like that. But instead, <laughs> instead, <laughs> one of the kids like runs up to it and punts it like a football, and it just goes <gasps> all over him. Oh no! <laughs> he's like, he's like oh, oh no. this smells bad. And his friend comes over and smells, and he's like, oh my, that's pee, that's pee. And he's like, ah, and they're just freaking oh. out, and they're just dying. <laughs> Did they catch you too? No. Oh, did they just like run off? Like, oh god. Yeah. They just ran. <laughs> Fucking funny, man. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Elliot. Good shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm just imagining he, he kicks it and just the splash. The, <laughs> did it get him in the face at all? Uh, I don't remember that well. But, oh yeah. man. Oh, you know. And we were pretty far away. Like we could just see him hey, kicking it and them me? screaming and stuff. Look at that. I, did you know sharks have to constantly swim forward? Yes, I did. Isn't that crazy? I don't know why. but Because uh, their gills can't pump water through naturally. That so sucks. They have to move, even when they swim, I'm pretty sure, to get water to flow through their gills. So that's why he's constantly kicking his booty. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I never got that. But he's still dead. Well, no, well, so well no, I think he's alive. Well, I don't know. He's out of water. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, those catfish, they were out putting their, their heads out of the water and talking and they seem well they were still technically yeah, in the water exactly though. fish breathe and through their gills on the side of their body Nothing no they mouth. fucking don't they can breathe air <laughs> haven't you seen the spongebob movie when spongebob and patrick could fucking breathe on dry land for some reason that makes no sense yeah dude well it does yeah it does because i think sponges and sea stars can Live on land. Yeah, but on the show, it's really inconsistent. Like, sometimes yeah, they can, sometimes yeah. they can't. It's just, what what the fuck ever. Haters. Um, cool, we got through, like, two levels. Yeah, dude. Or, uh... Three? Well, as soon as we, uh... As soon as, soon as we fight the Great Mighty Pooh, it will have been three, so, uh... Nice. Yeah, and then, uh... We'll be going to Ungabunga, so, uh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. I guess we'll see you probably next week. Yeah, hopefully. Well, you'll see us in, like two minutes if you click on the next video or one day depending on oh, when yeah, you're seeing this day. next time on royal goobs we roll a big ball of poopy up this hill and we meet a hottie with a rocking body and a hottie voicey to go with a roycey you know are you talking about me again yeah. <laughs> i'm ugly subscribe bitches